about a Friday. Ed, I asked you for someone who has stopped posting but needs to come back. He said Green Giant underscore ES. That's the Twitter name, Green Giant underscore ES. And at least according to the picture in the bio, this is a Spanish language account associated with the frozen vegetable company Green Giant. Yes. They've tweeted three times. All three tweets are in Spanish, so I'll translate the first two into English. <laughs> the first, <laughs> you know what's coming. Hang on, hang on. The first one, uh, August 2014, is, hello, Twitter. Greetings from the Green Giant family. Fine. Second tweet, a few days later, is... Got some great food advice? Share it with us, and it could be featured on our website. Then they go dark for seven months, and they come back in March of 2015 for their third and apparently final tweet. Uh, would you like to read it, or would you like me to? Incesto. Incesto. <laughs> and that is incest, with an O at the end. Yes. Three commas. Yes. Incesto. In all caps. In all caps. Comma, space, comma. <laughs> it is possibly the best tweet ever made <laughs> and i have put real time into try i have reached out to people from the company no one will get back to me i've been trying to find out what happened here yeah for years that was my first question is what the hell happened i've not put a lot of time into it but it's just talking of really specific internet things that are wonderful yeah i love this account because well, specifically like this situation, because like you said, it was two inoffensive tweets about like, hey, share your, f hello, Twitter, and then just <laughs> incesto, incesto, <laughs> no context, no explanation. And it was never deleted. It's still up. The tweet is still never up. Never deleted. From, yeah. Seven years ago. Never posts again. <laughs> Honestly, one of the most powerful statements ever made on the internet. <laughs> just incesto, incesto, and then someone several years ago made a uh, green giant elon and just oh, put no. investo investo oh no <laughs> no it's no and that's that's the only tweet from that as well okay, but it's good. just such a wonderful thing because in today's world this would have been completely deleted and explained and analyzed to death there is a chance that this is and I, i've gone back and forth about what i think it is i think and i've thought about this an alarming amount i can tell <laughs> For a while, because this was in 2015, right. I was like, okay, this might be a very weird bit because there were a few really specific bits back then. Mm -hmm. But in this case, like if this happened today, they delete the whole thing. PR statement would go out in Spanish saying, hey, the incesto tweet was not, I don't remember who makes Green Giant, but it does not indicate the brand values General of Green Mills, Giant. I yeah. yeah, I think it's General Mills and... Now it's just this thing where I wonder if there's like a Spanish guy or someone who was like running this account, did two tweets, got fired, realized they still had the login, and was like, yeah, oh, f these people. <laughs> <laughs> Incesto! <laughs> Incesto! <laughs> it, it really is. It's, it's kind of miraculous because seriously, the account is completely dark for seven months and it's like there's nothing wrong with the first two tweets so you don't think there would be like cause for someone, the social media manager to have been fired. Yep. But the, still that theory seems more plausible than anything else I can think of. <laughs> but also, if he was fired, it was from... So, if he was General Mills, Spain... Right. He was running this and several others, and this never happened. There is also an outside theory I have that Incesto was the last thing he did, but he set it up as a scheduled tweet. <laughs> because the other tweets on there are at, like, 7.18 or 3.12 or whatever. Uh -huh. This one is 12 noon on the dot, PST. <laughs> Your internet detective work here. 8 or 9 p.m. I forget the time zone. I, I, I think then it would be 9 p.m. But he might have set it while out the door. Oh, I see. So, so like, it was so like he his just last scheduled day or something. Tweet, like, seven months, like, yes, let's put up incest over. <laughs> That'll show him. <laughs> I'll just get these bastards. <laughs> fire me from my job as the green giant account for Spain. But that's the thing. It's not even like it got any steam behind it. Right. He did two, they, they did two tweets mm -hmm. in 2014, three days apart, and then disappeared forever until the momentous day of March 9th, 2015. Incesto, incesto. Just such a perfect tweet and also just a wonderful mystery. March 9th, 2015, a day that will live in incestomy, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, the incestos I, of March. 
folks who use Twitter know you can click on the quote tweets, quote tweet link underneath the tweet, see what people are saying about something. You know, they're sharing it with their own feeds, they're writing their own commentary. And I highly recommend it for the, for the for this tweet. There are some very crazy things. I never <laughs> looked at this before. Yeah, uh, John Taylor here says, how are future civilizations going to understand the artifacts we created? <laughs> and it's just referring to the Incesto tweet. A lot of people say stuff like, this is my favorite tweet ever, or I've been thinking about this a lot, I think about this all the time. And and the, the, the best one, though, is from at Gaping Maws, who says, Ladies up in here tonight, no fighting, no fighting, incesto, incesto. <laughs> so my favorite one is sometimes you just, it's from frunding underscore loom. And is first tweet is sometimes you just got to screen cap a tweet that you know is blatant argument bay, but you kind of want to beat about it anyway. And then next one, related, incesto, <laughs> incesto. You know that that was something really specific that they were trying to make a point about. But in the amber of the internet, it is just contextually, like, with with no ken context behind it, it's just some guy being like, listen up, <laughs> this is what my shit's about today, incesto. <laughs> I, I just like, I do like the idea that aliens will come down mm-hmm. one day and they'll be like, what do you think of the, oh... We're not going to give them the cure to all diseases. I don't think they need. It's just by some cruel twist of fate. Like they, they, we they don't would want have, them to live. They would have fixed everything, but for some reason, the first thing they ever saw upon arriving on Earth was the Incesto tweet from, from seven years ago. And it's like, never mind, we're going back. <laughs> but also, what is more likely to happen, yeah. which is to say not very likely, mm-hmm. is that it gets brought up in some sort of congressional hearing. <laughs> like, Ted, like Ted Cruz on a, so the tweet says incesto in and three commas incesto <laughs> comma space com just someone trying to like I love the idea of someone pouring over this not like we're doing the way we're doing it is cool right but, but someone trying to be ac- academic and profound about this tweet yeah I would love to know what's going on I would pay good money for someone to find an explanation i'll subscribe to any newspaper that f- digs into this it's probably a very boring explanation like i said like the guy was was being fired the and- guy was being fired or it's a not particularly funny bit mm-hmm. that is now funny based on the context around it but also i think the thing i like about it the most to close mm-hmm. it off yeah. is that there was never a tweet afterwards right yeah you, you actually don't want them to come back this is the perfect finished there's there there is no closure and that's what makes it amazing and that's it that's that's it it's they have made the most perfect tweet possible <laughs> lined up perfectly likely by accident and then left 